Let's take a look at two tricks for finding awards on Air France's website. First, make sure you are logged into your Air France account. And if you're coming from uh, the United States and want everything to be in English, go to airfrance.us rather than airfrance.com. And once you're logged in, you'll have the option to book a flight either the normal way or book with miles. So book with miles is what you want. Then uh, you could put in your origin. So let's say I'm starting from Detroit and want to fly to Paris. And um, by default, it's going to ask me for the date that I want to fly and how many people and what class of service. So I'm going to leave it at business class. I'm looking for business class flights. But here's the thing. I don't want to just look for February 16th. And if I, if I keep a single date in there like that, What's going to happen is it is going to just show that one day, and there's going to be a little calendar that just shows a week's worth of results. But what I want is a month of results. So I'm going to just X out that starting date altogether and search flights. And what's going to happen is we're going to see a month of results at a time this way. So it always defaults to the most recent month, but um, let's say we're interested in February. We can uh, just click February up here. And now what we see are all of the um, days that uh, in green have the lowest award pricing. So that's excellent, 50,000 miles for one-way business class to Paris from the US. And uh, one of the things you're not gonna see though on this calendar view is pricing for Air France's partners. So there might be very good pricing, for example, to fly um, Virgin Atlantic to London and then onward to Paris, um, that pricing is not going to show up in this overall calendar. You're not going to see that pricing until you click through on a particular day. So just for example, February 9th very well may have great pricing uh, to fly a partner airline to Paris, but uh, it doesn't have good pricing for Air France or KLM to fly there. So anyway, let's pick a day that, that we do like. So February 11th looks good. And now we see the particular flight. Uh, it's 50,000 miles plus $207. So that's great. And so now if I like that, I could transfer points from any transferable points currency from Chase, from Citibank, from Capital One, from Built, from American Express. I could transfer to Air France Flying Blue and then book this flight if I wanted to. Um, now, notice up here, let's say we decide, oh no, I can't fly on February 11th. I want to look at a different date. You can sort of scroll one week at a time uh, by clicking these arrows. Uh, really one day at a time by clicking these arrows. Uh, but that's real pain. What if you want to look further out? Here's a little trick to uh, quickly jump back to the calendar. Because one way is to go all the way back to the beginning and delete the date again. Another way is to go up here to the URL bar and change where it says offers. Change that to open dates and press enter. And that'll bring you right back to the calendar, to the uh, monthly calendar. All right, so now we can look further out. So you can, look, you can see that there's at least one day in March that has uh, 50,000 points. It turns out there are three. Nothing's looking good in April, May, or June. Let's look further out and see, see what we can find. July, ooh, there's something in July, so that's that's exciting because uh, maybe we want to go in the summertime. And there we go, July 28th. If that's good, then you click through and book it. So that's it. Those are the tricks for finding and booking award flights on Air France Flying Blue.